All right. Welcome to the governance meeting. Okay, so here's what um, we got. Jenkins released 2.302, 3.2 that's in progress. Elections, contributor summit coming on October 9. Proposal to meet one hour later. Let's see, there was one more topic I wanted, which was, oh, Mark, wait, as a JEP editor. And then the question is, does that need governance approval or is that some other process? It first thing, it's a million piece the discussion. And if there is consensus in the mailing list, uh, there is no need in addition to governance approval. Okay, and Don't the mailing list the... discussion has started, mm -hmm. but it was started yeah. only an hour or two ago. Yeah, are there any particular uh, uh, pull request you would like to match? Uh, so the one on Docker and the one on, uh, what was the mm -hmm. other one? Tim specifically pinged me asking if, uh, let me let me make a note of them because they're in my it's mine it's the one that i helped start well Oleg wrote but i did the blog post for about removing ruby and python uh yeah that was that was i think also one let me see yeah, it was the one that for... tim specifically mentioned to you i don't know if it was the one yeah yeah so so specific topics uh, Docker, uh, Ruby, slash, slash Python. Uh, wasn't there one from, um, on Guava from Basil as well? I thought uh, that yeah, was- Yeah, there is pull request uh, for that. Yeah, so, and those were the ones that, that were most, most of interest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I hope to spend some time uh, in the coming weeks, but yeah, right now I cannot commit on anything particular. Okay. Okay. All right. I believe uh, JC was edited as a JEP editor, but I'm not sure whether he had a bandwidth to merge something. I see his approvals in some of the pull requests. Uh, and. Jesse just submitted a proposal to um, for a, a revised process for automated merge. Uh, so I, I wasn't aware he's a, an editor, but Jesse could, Jesse Glick, help, good question, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, any other agenda items we need to put on the list? Nope. Okay. So Jenkins release 2.303.2 is in progress, not yet complete. Um, work continues on it. Uh, likewise for 2.3, 2.315. It's visible in the artifact repository, but the release notes, the documentation, et cetera, not yet published and the advisory associated with it, not yet published. Uh, elections. It, it is installed on CI Jenkins now though, right? It is, oh yes, it is installed on, on ci.jenkins.io. I saw that this morning. Visible in Docker images, um, et cetera. Yeah, um, installable from the deb repositories or deb repository. So yes, it's uh, war files, is a war file is available. Okay, um, on elections, anything else? So we've received some nominations apparently. So that's that's great. So Gavin, I believe you're part of the 
part of the the processing of those nominations so you've received some yeah we received a couple good okay and okay i mean it doesn't hurt to have more so you could always use more right now olivier had proposed to me discussed uh discuss possibly sending an email to last year's voters okay that has not i don't know if i'm part of the committee or not um i got added to the list um yeah. as far as i understand it was olivia and evelina but mm -hmm. neither of which are on the call so <laughs> yeah I yeah not heard and I, yeah well and, and it was just he and i talking about the relatively low registration so he hasn't brought it to the to the board yet mm. Well, um, we haven't uh, announced the uh, elections I mean, uh, and I, we did a blog post a few social media things but that's it i believe there was no mailing list announcement uh, unless i'm wrong and uh, even though it's still complicated to get uh, traction for that but yeah definitely need a uh, more activity for me, though, the biggest problem um, is officers. So you know, what we were doing last year, uh, the election lead was reaching out to officers, to board members, to reconfirm the intention to run this year. Because from the governance board standpoint, uh, one of major risks is that we didn't have um, uh, Genghis officer candidates. So is it something being worked on? worked on i don't specifically know there has been some nomination for officers so far but mm -hmm. like i said there always needs more so if there's not i thought there was a mail list post but i wasn't paying that much attention because i knew about it coming so it probably doesn't hurt to do it again anyways even if it's not been so users and our uh, users, dev, and uh, the past uh, elections, right? Or past voters. Yeah. So generally, it makes sense uh, to promote a um, uh, voting sign up uh, after there are candidates published. Fair enough. Um, uh, but because uh, there is some gap in the timeline. So the question is rather how we do ensure that there is enough candidates and that so, uh, all roles are covered. Yeah, I thought that the timeline had the red voter registration concurrent with nominations. Mm. Well, I'm not sure about this year. Before that, it wasn't like that. Uh, okay. okay, sorry, I was unable to really track uh, this process uh, this month. So, oh, no, no, there is there is a one week period. Okay, so here's what I've got. There's looking at the blog post. Yeah, there's a one week period here where um, between October 31, the deadline for nomination and the announcement. No, actually, because of that registration deadline and candidate announce are the same date so the current process did not give us knowledge disclosure of who the candidates are until after the voter registration period has reached its end mm. but i guess we could we could certainly share that nominees there's this oh no this this really says candidates announced i mean we could we could recommend a change there and announce candidates sooner so that we can then promote that middle of yeah. middle of october well i think at this point it's olivier and uh, evelina running it so we can make the suggestion to um make candidates earlier but i think we should just blast everyone saying register to vote and here are the candidate or, or you should nominate people and then we blast again saying okay registration is closed now vote for your candidate great okay yeah, I would question that we need so long in terms uh, for nominations. Um, because, yeah. I think it's, it's actually the other way around. I think it was the once once registration closed, the voting would happen. And I think at that point, they just said, OK, the, the nominations are these, you know, not really thinking mm -hmm. about how long nominations be open for. Yeah, I understand. 
Good. Okay. All right, any, any other topics there on elections in terms of how we... Nope, but I checked today, only three board members have signed up to vote. Okay, all right, so... Plus so two we... officers, three officers. So we have more officers to sign up than board members. Uh, I believe I haven't signed up. Oh, no, you've signed I know, up. No, I did. Yep. I think Ulrich hasn't. And Evelina hasn't. I'm calling them out publicly on video because I can. <laughs> okay. I think I did. Yeah, I, I think I've seen Uli registered there. Yeah, no, you're definitely sorry. Is it in the it is in the community or? Yeah, right. it's it's me, Oleg, and Uli is the only three board members that I can see. Oh, okay, fine. Poo. <laughs> Great. Yeah. I guess we want to get PK to create uh, the Discourse account anytime soon, anyway. But yeah, we're going to uh, register. Yeah, I just, just thought it would be important that we were the ones voting. So. Right, yeah. absolutely. So, yeah, but anyway, it's a valid question. Uh, that We actually need uh, more people to sign up. Mm, so, yeah, maybe some additional uh, announcements. Maybe this won't work. Maybe we only get 20 people to sign up and then we'll have to use the previous list or something. I don't know. We'll see. Yep. Well, it doesn't uh, have uh, to send it to any list we have. Uh, no, I yeah. agree. I just meant that if only 20 people sign up to vote, then we might use the list. I don't know. I don't know what uh, Olivia's plan is. You know, maybe use last year's list or something. So generally, we are not supposed to store this list. Maybe yeah. Olivier still has data on his side uh, because we yeah. use Android yeah. and there is some history. Uh, but yeah, the voter registration data is deleted by now. Yeah, you mean from from Condorcet? Certainly. Uh, that, no, but... I mean uh, from our sign up form for the previous year. Oh, oh because I see. we deliberately announced that uh, the data won't be stored uh, post election. Got it. Okay. Well, yeah, either way, it's something we can't really deal with that, Olivier, and right now. Yeah. Okay. All right. Anything else on elections? No. Okay, Jenkins oh, continues. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry, oh, I, did, I did not confirm their officer nominations for all officer roles. I said we had some officer nominations. Oh, I sorry, did I? I haven't checked. Yeah, to make I sure should, that I should all... describe it differently needs to confirm right yeah 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 because yeah then, i don't know about the all part there that's the only thing right and and if we if we have a role that's an officer role that's not covered by a nomination we probably need to do some work then to recruit someone to, to accept and to be nominated or accept the nomination yeah. Mm, yeah and it's always a question of uh, so for example for me uh, one question is events officer because currently I'm acting events officer, but yeah, due to personal stuff, I wasn't able to actually do much. Uh, I do things here and there, but definitely I could do more. And uh, yeah, right now I'm not sure who would be interested to take this role in the community. Yeah, I've been uh, reaching out to our marketing department because the Hacktoberfest is running right now. And it's a good thing to say, you know, Thinking about Hacktoberfest, any marketer type people are interested in getting involved with open source, mm -hmm. but it hasn't really taken any, it got anywhere yet. Yeah, uh, but yeah, generally, uh, I'm not sure whether you marked, uh, you Olivier, so the templates from the previous election cycle, because we have a Google Doc with uh, email templates. And that was specifically email template for uh, officers, uh, just uh, asking them, okay, you, whether you plan to run, if not, please let us know as soon as possible and preferably make some nominations. 
because yeah, the worst situation we can have is, for example, yeah, let's say Daniel uh, decides uh, on October 29th that he is not running for security officer and we have no other candidate. And yeah, it's actually a pro question of project sustainability. So that's why uh, I would like to raise it. Uh, I will tomorrow make a, a go through all the nominations so far, make a spreadsheet and then get the rest of the committee to contact the existing officers. Yeah. Uh, do you have access to previously uh, mail templates just to save some of your time? I suspect not. I don't know where they'd be, but I suspect not. Yeah, somewhere in my Google Drive. Just a second. We'll, we'll follow up with that. Mm -hmm. So uh, we'll uh, share access uh, with um, you and Evelina. Sounds good. I guess actually the document is already public, so I will just add to meeting notes. Great. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the templates were not a secret. Um, So, mm -hmm. again, uh, probably just saves some time. Mm. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else? Any other topics on elections? No. Okay, next topic then, Contributor Summit, October 9th. Yeah, so I just want to confirm that it will happen. Uh, I secured some time for that. We have several topics uh, submitted. Um, actually, we lack uh, proposals for on conference sessions, but I think that I will figure it out in the coming days. So the summit will happen. Still, it will be quite a low scale event. Uh, but I hope that you will be able to gather some contributors and to have discussions. I'm not sure, Uli, do you plan to join? Uh, I don't think that I find the time on the weekend. I planned for the last Saturday. Mm -hmm. So, I kind of yeah, yeah, there were some changes and yeah, we will definitely need to think how to adjust better. But yeah, as all of you know, my life yeah. is currently mess. <laughs> working on that. Uh, but yeah, uh, uh, the event will still happen. Pro hopefully there will be some outcomes. Um, uh, and yeah, now let's see how it goes. And one of my major uh, to-do items is to actually update uh, uh, the roadmap because uh, this is our third contributor summit this year. And we didn't update the roadmap since, uh, so even for February Contributor Summit, there were no roadmap updates. Uh, there are some basically open topics like uh, no community Jenkins IO on the roadmap. Uh, if you talk uh, some communication channels um, and yeah, the technical side is also quite uh, behind the schedule. Okay. So, and Oleg, are you envisioning that that's that shared as part of the project updates? Or is when you're saying roadmap updates, you're thinking the updates to the Jenkins.io roadmaps page? Jenkins.io, and yeah, I didn't commit to do it before the summit. Okay. Because, well, generally I cannot, uh, because uh, even if I submit a pull request, you'll need uh, reviews from the board members. And yeah, I would prefer to not commit to do it until Saturday. Makes sense, yeah. Mm -hmm. There And there are plenty of things where we've made made good progress, actually, that roadmap needs update. Um, Java 17 preview is available. Um, we've switched to Java 11. We've got ARM 64-bit and System 390 mm -hmm. and PowerPC images, those kinds of things. So, uh, yeah. um, 
So are you, yeah, is... I think that, uh, yeah, generally we expect uh, special interest groups and uh, sub-projects uh, to submit updates for the roadmap, uh, but it clearly doesn't happen. Uh, so maybe there are some changes needed uh, in how we actually manage the roadmap. Because the previous one was built with the assumption that uh, yeah, there would be regular updates uh, by project leaders, but right now, yeah, the most of uh, special interest groups are inactive. Um, and yeah, even if they're active, so for example, there is Platform Seek, but we haven't received update from Platform Seek since February in the roadmap. Uh, for documentation, is basically the same. Um, yeah. Even if we can plug the holes, uh, clearly the process doesn't work. And yeah, then we need to think how we change the process. By the way, I'm currently working on the continuous delivery foundation, TOC roadmap. And then we, we just use a GitHub project uh, with a dashboard to save some time. Mm. Okay. Yeah. We'll see how it goes because you know, they, I wouldn't say that uh, the TVC is uh, very much active in all the things, but let's see. Okay. Okay. Not yet. If anyone is interested to participate, uh, please let me know. Uh, yeah, Mark, uh, I've seen your update. Uh, do you really plan to participate in the uh, APAC time zone? Because it I, will be... I do. I did. I did participate in the last one. It left a, a somewhat of a hangover for the weekend, but I, I did. And okay. I'll, I'll uh, so again. basically, I, I, will, I may only be there for four hours. Or like after about four hours, I become somewhat non-functional at that time. Yeah, I will make sure that uh, your session is in the beginning then. Okay, so I think that's it. Now you had asked about project updates during the session. Um, is there something particular you want me from me there? Should I plan to do a docs and a platform update or is that uh, not worth the time? Are we just focus on the- I think it was uh, the time. Um, so if you could prepare, uh, it would be nice. Okay. Yeah, I also pinned to Wadi and Daniel about security update and other things, but yeah, I'm also assembling it um, on pretty late. So my plan is to spend as less time on project updates as possible. So just a quick uh, glance through updates here and there, and then to focus on, uh, on conference and maybe uh, and then the user panel because uh, it was uh, the most uh, efficient part in the previous um, summits. Great. Okay. Okay. Anything else on contributor summit? No. Okay, next topic then was the proposal to move the meeting time one hour later. And I think that was approved, right? So eight UTC was the preferred, is that yes. correct, Ali? Mm -hmm. That's fine, yeah. We only have uh, five voters, but I think, uh, yeah, I, I just forgot to, <laughs> to send the mail uh, earlier, but I think it makes yeah. sense that we no. start one hour later. Yeah, thanks for moving that because yeah, for me it was kind of critical um, in the past months. So now I can participate, uh, but yeah. Well, and, and one thing uh, maybe oh. I, I can uh, add, uh, I think what, what, what I, proposed is to change that we uh, when we start with a standard time and leave the daylight saving time that it makes sense then we start at 9 UTC because most of us live here in the yeah yep. on this side where we have the standard time uh, now uh, in November so it makes sense to keep our local time the same I thought UTC was without um, 
times without daylight savings is the it's the offsets that are daylight savings. UTC is without, but uh, our local time is. And unfortunately, uh, yeah, a kid schedule uh, and whatever other schedule is in local time. So while it's generally better to have um, community meetings in UTC than uh, the reality champs in. Oh, and, yeah. So it's more about Google Calendar and not about the people going. Well, I, I think it's it's more acknowledging that it's okay if when 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 the governments meddle with the clocks, we accept that that disrupts us and we change our time to fit our best need. Uli, I think what you were saying is that after the time after the clocks are changed, nine UTC is better for you okay. because that holds the time con constant yeah. on your local calendar on your local time. Yes, okay. I think for everybody on this side of the earth. Uh, the local time stays the same. I mean, yeah, that, that's fine by me. It's, uh, yeah, so Gavin, are you okay? I assume you're okay with that. Yeah, yeah, as long as I know ahead of time. The only problem is like today was fine, but like last week, moving it last minute, I had meetings afterwards, right? So it's uh -huh. just, I can't do last minute changes, but I can totally do nine. That's not a problem. Great. Okay, so then noted that what we'll do is, all right, so. 8 p.m. UTC until the change of clocks in Europe for standard time. And then we will switch to 9 p.m. UTC uh, after change of clocks so that we've got uh, the ideas hold the time constant, mm -hmm. local time, uh, for participants, because the whether it's I agree with Gavin, whether it's one hour later or not, doesn't doesn't affect me much. And it, if it helps Uli with you, and if it helps at all with Oleg, that's the right thing for us to do then. Yeah. So for me, currently, if we keep it on Wednesdays, the schedule is more or less clear for um, the time being. So it's either before five thirty local time which is uh, 3.30 or 4.30, depending on the uh, time zone in UTC, or after 10 p.m. local time, which is either 8 or uh, 9. So, so this, is a good, this is a good match for you. Yeah, so current time is perfect. Great. I mean, uh, there are still some risks, uh, but yeah, generally it's uh, the best possible time. Great. Okay. All right, so um, yeah, so let's see, is there an easy way that I can adjust the meeting to, to do that automatically? Probably not. We'll have to just do it in November when, when the clocks change. And set the time to something that has, the time zone to something that, that has our, so the like UTC is not adjusted, but if you did like your Europe, central European time, that should adjust. I think. Okay. Uh, yeah, but it's still tricky because uh, yeah, we, I would say that it would be easy if we just uh, stop this series of meetings and reschedule it, uh, knowing from which date we change the time. Yeah, that works too. And it's just one meeting uh, in the summer times remaining. So. Okay. okay. So great. It'll be easy then. We meet at eight. UTC and the next meeting in four weeks is already in at nine a UTC. Great, mm -hmm. thank you. Okay, so don't really mess with it until then. Right, and that's that works just great. That, that's a very very understandable thing. Yeah. Sorry, I'll mute myself. Okay, um, anything else on change of meeting time? Okay. Then last topic was proposed adding me as a editor of Jenkins enhancement proposals. The, the, the concern I think, and Oleg, you asked a really good question. Hey, are there specific needs that are prompting that request? And I think it was the 
Docker and the Guava one. Ruby Python, we know is stalled and it would be a, a good one also to, let's see what you should call it, Ruby deprecation, just that way. Nope, you got in trouble for calling it that before. Oh, did I? <laughs> right. Well, I'm gonna uh, say it's Ruby runtime deprecation. Yeah, there you go. That's mm -hmm. that's more precise. Well done. Yeah. So for me, uh, I think the significant issue is not uh, pull request itself, but the fact that, that uh, these pull requests are not associated with ongoing discussion in the mailing list. So for me, yeah, one of the problems is that uh, I just miss pull requests in this repository. Um, even though I'm job editor and it should be on my dashboard, if somebody else uh, approves it first, I don't see it on my dashboard. And I might be still late and uh, yeah, I currently don't have much hope of uh, processing all GitHub notifications I receive every day. Uh, so if there was ongoing discussion in the developer mailing list, um, then it would be easier just to drag these changes and to know that uh, there are pending requests. Yeah. It's, uh... Well, and, and yet we've got ongoing discussions on the Guava upgrade, and I'm not sure that it's... And what was uh, the last update there? Yesterday? Uh, yeah, oh. yesterday or two or three days ago. Yeah, then but... it explains everything because I haven't opened them since the weekend. Uh, so, well, and Guava, Guava upgrade, there the discussions on the list are yes. really, hey, here's this plugin making progress, here's this plugin, and Basil noting mm -hmm. which ones, how close are we to being ready to turn this thing on, that kind of thing, to, to make that upgrade. Yeah, uh, so for, for that, uh, uh, it's not a big deal, how you put it. So for, for me, the question is how we just ensure that uh, there are consensus so that we go ahead. Uh, so for me, JEP is just secondary, it's documentation. So if there is consensus built in the mailing list, uh, we go ahead. It's not about uh, updating uh, plugins because yeah, this changes on our brainer, but yeah. Yeah, I think uh, we just move out of the topic. So I definitely support having uh, more uh, job editors. Yeah, the main question uh, is uh, whether we need to finish uh, the update of the job process first, because we already have pending proposal. Um, yeah, I'm not sure whether the governance board members have had a chance to review it, because yeah, we, we made a proposal together this year. We all approved it. Or most of us did. Actually, everyone on this call, I think, has approved it. Okay. So it means that I just need to get it over the line because after that, it's still uh, kind of undecided. So, so if you have. Oh. Yeah, if we approve this change, then your yeah, job editors will be still a kind of bottleneck. Uh, but uh, we will expect the majority of changes will to be driven actually by champions of the jets. So we could uh, open floodgates and uh, have uh, uh, grant uh, permissions to more people. So, uh, and I, I may be behind. I I know the process change had been proposed. I didn't remember seeing any notes on, on getting agreement, uh, but that sounds great to me. Yeah, if that's, we reviewed that's it uh, when I believe in May or in June last time. Okay. And we had a review together with Liam to agree on the wording. Then I in the meanwhile, I... Liam we were able to work on that. Perfect. Where okay. I approved it, but I cannot find. I remember being asked specifically to review it as board and approve it, but maybe it must have been a different thing. Yeah, anyway, just assign it to me. So I will uh, take a look what's uh, the status and let's have a uh, update uh, at the next meeting. For JEP editors, uh, yeah, basically I'm just plus one if we have uh, more editors. Great. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Mark, are you ready to be a JEP editor? Because uh, I'm, bit, uh, you were concerned about your bandwidth. I'm I'm ready to help. And yes, I, I will continue to be concerned about my bandwidth. In this case, it feels like it's a bottleneck that it would help us to, to, to improve. Mm -hmm. So I'm prone to say yes. Well, Tim generally, and I, I would just uh, add uh, all established contributors to there. I mean, everyone who participates in governance meeting, all board members, all officers, I have no problem with just expanding it significantly from the current state. Uh, so for us, uh, yeah, uh, well, for us, uh, basically, uh, JEP editors are not responsible for accepting or rejecting JEP. They are responsible just to ensure that uh, the format is followed. Uh, the rest is handled by the community in the current process or in the new process. So. Yeah, and and I think, I think, I think what the the goal I believe that Tim has is let's get those things so that the JEP process is not perceived as a barrier to us in improving to doing the Guava upgrade. And I don't think at this point that it is a barrier, but let's let's just be sure. So no objections to me if acting as a jet somebody editor, perceives it, it as better that we definitely could something uh, could do something better so yeah uh, i suggest uh, to just at all uh, officers and board members uh, as job editors period yeah that that would also work mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, uh, the worst thing uh, that can really happen is that uh, if something goes completely wrong, uh, uh, then we can revert the pull request. Uh, that's it. Mm -hmm. Right. So if one editor approves it, does that mean it's done? Uh, so editors, uh, they basically uh, ensure that the format is followed. And uh, for the rest of the changes, they just uh, do administrative thing, basically accept the pull request when uh, they're approved uh, by the sponsor or by the BDFL delegate. Uh, JEP editors do not make a decision uh, whether JEP is accepted or not. It's uh, in the current okay. process, BDFL delegate making this decision. And if uh, JEP one changes are accepted, I believe they're accepted, we just need to finish them. It will be governance meeting committee to just make a decision. Okay, so adding more people doesn't mean more people can improve. It just means more people have eyes on it type thing. Uh, yeah, so yeah, there is some uh, potential risk for mistakes. So for example, somebody with merge permission can merge a pull request that it's not uh, uh, yeah. uh, well basically approved. We can, so we, can we had that, some... Though. I mean, that's dealable with us and it's not necessarily changing with this. So yeah, I don't think yeah. there's any issue with going Yeah, so I believe that everyone uh, will act in a good intent anyway. Yeah, some mistakes may happen. Okay, we can correct them. That's it. So it's not like uh, somebody merges pull request and then we have a new open standard that uh, hundreds of enterprises depend on that and we can uh, never change it. It's yeah. not the case for our job process. Anything else on the on the proposed proposal to for a JEP editor and the ongoing the proposed changes to JEP one? So, yeah, JEP one just next meeting. Um, well, num nobody remembers uh, where it exactly, and uh, yeah, I strongly suspect that the ball is actually on my side. Um, so yeah. For the rest, yep. I want to slightly change where it says consider adding all officers. I think we want to wait four weeks until the election's over instead of doing it once and then doing it again when the election happens. 
I, it doesn't really matter. It just seems doubling up for work. Well, no, oh, December. Never mind. Uh, I thought it was November. Yeah, I think whatever works. Yeah. So yeah, for the time being, I will just take an action item to review the pending pull requests. I don't think that other job editors are available right now. So it's basically Liam, uh, Owen Mahagan, uh, Tyler, uh, JC, and Kiki. So I guess none of them are really active on job front except JC. Um, but yeah, I will just uh, try to get it over the line in a few days. Again, yeah, go up. We all uh, agreed that we need to do that. So it's just. Well, and 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 not only Guava, the Docker one is pretty much done, right? We we proposed the JEP and we we implemented it based on what was proposed. Uh, I think it would be enough to, but but it, it it didn't follow the rigorous process of being merged as a draft and assigned a JEP number, and mm -hmm. so so it just we just went ahead and took the liberty of doing it, assuming it was okay. Yeah. Well, we we'll discussed it in the mailing list. So there was consensus that we do that. Right. So in this case, JEP is just the documentation, more or less. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if somebody said that uh, I need more details, how the upgrade guidelines would be implemented or other things, okay, it could require JEP to be finished first. Mm -hmm. But since everyone was on board, okay. Yeah, yeah, I think I think it met our needs. I don't think it slowed us down. The process did not did not get in the way, and and we were able to do what we needed to do. And the act of writing the JEP actually was quite helpful for me because it made me think much more clearly about what we were going to do exactly. So yeah, no objections. Anyway, we should just get it over the line. Okay. So I mean, the, it doesn't hurt to have it merged. Right. Anything else then on that topic? Okay. Any other topics that were not didn't make it onto the agenda that we need to yeah. include? Maybe just quick update from CDF TOC. Um, um, so yeah, we have a pending topic on the roadmap uh, for TOC. Uh, there are a few Jenkins related items. Um, so first of all, we press it with inclusive naming uh, initiative membership. So we have a officially applied at the Continuous Delivery Foundation and we officially asked that uh, Jenkins terminology clean up is that as affiliated project there. And yeah, uh, there is pending connection item to revisit uh, our participation in marketing uh, in uh, October slash November. Uh, uh, so, yeah, hopefully we will uh, discuss it in a few weeks. So Alex Oral was ready. They just asked uh, for some assistance, somebody to join for interview. Uh, we reached out to Alex Oral. He was up to doing that. So we will just need to uh, recover this contact. Okay, and what else interesting there? So there was uh, application from uh, Jenkins Kubernetes operator to be a project um, in uh, the Continuous Delivery Foundation. So the CDF to C reviewed that, and basically our feedback was that we do not see why it has to be a separate project. And uh, the ball is on the requesters side to revisit it and to address our comments. Because yeah, basically at that point, uh, the project didn't seem to be distinguishable enough uh, from Jenkins in terms of uh, uh, ecosystem community. So it didn't seem to be justified enough to have a separate project. Mm -hmm. So I'm mentioning it because it was one of 
concerning topics. So what else? Um, yeah. Uh, so Tikton is preparing to um, plan for graduate status. And uh, what is important for us, the scheduling uh, external security audit. So the step we skipped uh, one year ago when we were doing uh, Jenkins graduation. Uh, but yeah, once uh, Tikton paves the way, we might want to revisit uh, Jenkins uh, security audit. Yeah, I know that a Jenkins security audit would be a massive endeavor. So it's definitely something we should talk about after the election. Uh, I'm not sure whether Daniel uh, plans to remain security officer. Um, let's see. Uh, but yeah, uh, once everything settled on that front, uh, I think that uh, we will need uh, uh, to at least discuss external audit. And yeah, there are also discussions about infrastructure, uh, of course. So stay tuned, this topic may uh, come again to us. Uh, but yeah, right now there is just uh, kind of expectation uh, from uh, Jenkins, sorry, CDF governing board that uh, the infrastructure cost for the continuous delivery foundation is reduced. Budgets remain the same for the time being, but uh, yeah, it uh, might be a question. And yeah, there was a discussion whether we apply for Microsoft uh, sponsorship again. Uh, in the governance board, uh, but yeah, uh, in the next year, it might become uh, a problem to handle. And that one worries me, worries me significantly. So yeah, let's be sure we have that discussion. Yeah, let's see. So sponsorship wise, we can uh, find some options. I'm not too concerned. Just need to plan in advance, especially if we need to invent very small cloud solutions. To be honest, I would rather prefer to avoid that. Uh, but yeah, at the same time, uh, finding cash specifically for Microsoft Asia might be a problem too. Right. So let's see. Okay. Yeah, and we've we've successfully reduced our Azure spend and increased our AWS spend over the course of the last few months. So we're but but that decrease still is just to keep us in budget. It's mm -hmm. not 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 been a oh, dramatically below the budget, if I remember correctly. Yeah, yeah and the related topic uh, transfer of uh, the Jenkins AWS account to the Continuous Delivery Foundation. Uh, so yeah, basically no progress. I'm not allowed to work on that until November 1st. Right, and I've got people asking about it uh, as well. So we may be able to make some progress before November 1st, it'll depend. Yeah. So basically, you, Mark, and all of you, you are in all the threads, I believe, as well as uh, the Jenkins board. Uh, but yeah, currently, it needs to be somebody else to drive it. Right. Okay. Okay. So yeah, I think that's it from CDF updates. Any other topics? Not really board related, but I wanted on the recording how well the Hacktoberfest stuff has been received. The Hacktober channel, Hacktoberfest channel has been really active. And I saw there's a lot of docs work as well. There is a um, DigitalOcean Hacktoberfest Discord that people can also join to get more help and more um, community which I should rejoin this year, but I haven't yet. I joined uh, the Discord channel. 
Well, for me, maintaining discourse, uh, discourse just for October 1st is probably too much. There's too many chats open. Yeah. No, I mean, I will connect via my work Discord, so it doesn't bug me unless I'm working. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we probably should encourage people uh, organize, to organize some Hacker Garden events. Uh, I'm not sure. Well, we, this year we didn't announce October 1st and mailing please, et cetera. But well, Mark maybe... did an event yesterday or day before. Uh, Saturday. Yeah, right. yesterday or day before. Um, if, yeah, whatever. Um, but yeah, it went, I think it went really well. People have been really excited about it. There's been pull requests. So I just wanted to. Yeah, I watched uh, the recording and the Wadek was also uh, happy to receive uh, pull requests uh, for security policy updates. Uh, so yeah, thanks a lot to everyone who participated. Um, I think that we should try to organize more events. So in, in my case, uh, I'm organizing. So firstly, uh, I was speaking about Jenkins and October 1st on, on uh, uh, Sunday. We had a panel with maybe uh, three or 400 participants. Um, I will be organizing um, uh, Jenkins, sorry, Russian speaking meetup on October 17th and uh, Swiss Jenkins meetup on 30th. Uh, but yeah, if you see some opportunities to facilitate it in local communities, uh, why not? We know that uh, there are many Jenkins users and contributors in Maniac, for example. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so thanks, Uli, for your presentation at, at our Hacktoberfest launch. And thanks to, to Vadek for his presentation. I, I was delighted to learn something from Vadek's presentation that I didn't expect. I thought I was just going to be there hearing and, and be a, an active mm -hmm. participant. And instead, he taught me some things. Oh, I need to do this and this in the things that I maintain. So good, good positive. Yeah. Thanks. Um, also, Angelic did a recording for localization uh, guidelines. Oh, good. Um, specifically for French localization. And yeah, maybe uh, so one of my topics for October 1st, if I have ever uh, have time to write code, is to finally uh, rework translation assistance plugin. So instead of doing what it's doing now, it would be, uh, be basically generating property files so that somebody could submit a pull request with patches after editing things right in the web UI. Hmm. But yeah, it's big maybe at the moment. Yeah. Mm. Okay, any other topics we need to get on the list today? Is anyone speaking Japanese? Okay, so there will be a day of Jenkins Japan uh, in December. There is still opportunity for someone to present. I reached out to several community members who speak Japanese, uh, but yeah, there are open slots. And I assume yeah. it's strongly preferred Japanese speakers presenting? I think so. Uh, well, my personal, I pre was presenting last year there. And my experience that, yeah, basically, if you don't speak Japanese, it's not the best experience, uh, neither for audience nor for speaker. Mm -hmm. uh, because, yeah, basically, you do presentations and it's pre-recorded. Then it's translated to Japanese uh, without actually proofreading. Then uh, there is a presentation played just by recording, and speaker even cannot answer questions. So uh, the board tries to answer questions on their own uh, somehow. So yeah, last time I participated, uh, I don't think that it's uh, great for anyone. So uh, Aki Hero will be presenting uh, there. Um, and yeah, hopefully we will have uh, more people involved. So if you mark, could say hello to Adam, uh, I would appreciate that. Adam, I'm sorry. I... Adam Papai, who's based oh. in uh, Japan. Oh, I did not realize he was based in Japan. I will, yeah. I will ping him. I, I, I'm, I'm becoming far too detached from where people physically are. It's embarrassing. Okay. Oh. Yeah. 
But yeah, I guess uh, that's it. And yeah, sorry for hijacking with this topic. Okay. Uh, yeah, we are currently at the end of the hour. Let's call it done. Thanks, everybody. Thanks very much for being here. I'll upload the recording probably two or three hours from now. Okay. Thanks for handling that. Mark, Mark, can I pick your brain after recording is done? Oh, yeah. Hang on. I'll just stop the recording now then. You bet. Mm -hmm.